Salwete Omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Donkey Kong Country Returns. In the last episode, we took on 6-5 and 6-6, and it turned out there are actually two more levels in the world than it looked like there were at first. Though if you're paying really close attention, I actually foreshadowed that two episodes ago. Back when we were doing 6-4, I happen to mention that aside from the track in this level and 6-2, everyone in this world was used in exactly two levels. Well, there have been two levels we've encountered so far where the music used in them hasn't shown up a second time, so it stands to reason that there would be two more levels, at least, for them to have that music. So I guess that would be 6 foreshadowing. In any case, let's start off with 6-7, Tippy Shippy. So there's a ship involved, and we're on a mountain. Yeah, there are indeed ships. And there are even these crab enemies. You thought we'd seen them all in World 2, and then it turned out that one stage in World 3 also had them? And then you thought for sure they'd, they'd be gone by then? Well, no. <laughs> Turns out... There is, in fact, a ship stage in World 6. Why is anyone's guess? It's not like this game has a little bit of a pirate theme to it, like Donkey Kong Country 2 did. Oh, and bonus room. One of these, is it? Right. And right up the middle. Okay, did we miss anything? I think we did. Probably nothing useful or valuable, but. Yeah, I don't trust that. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Hello, crabs. Hello, crab that didn't actually respawn. And I almost used the wrong action there. But seriously, why the heck is there a ship on top of a cliff? I guess as one person pointed out, there was one in a volcano in the second game, but... Oh, and I never really paid attention to it, but I really like the clouds in the background there. That's quite pretty. As far as backgrounds go, World 6 isn't generally particularly... Well, backgrounds and scenery. World 6 isn't generally particularly great in that respect, but, you know, it's still a Donkey Kong Country game. It just wouldn't be the same without really nice-looking graphics. Nothing over here. Oh look, more squid launchers. Oh yeah. Well, Okay, just for the heck of it, I want to try to get a big coin bonus here. Two, one. Fail! Okay, forget that. Not that I really need the coins or anything. Oh, almost missed that. Puzzle piece for us. Whoa, squid. You're a kid now, you're a squid now. Okay, don't immediately drop onto any of these platforms without looking at the sequence first, because there's at least one place in the level where they kind of try to trick you. Where you don't want and you don't want to get it get on it immediately. Oh, like, like right there. Yeah. Allow me to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Jeez. Well, I don't think we're too far back. We just have to go deal with the squid launchers again. I at least got one point out of it. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I'm an idiot! Yeah. 
Okay, so it's one, two, three, two, three, four, five. Okay. Just like a disappearing block puzzle in a Mega Man game. If we hurry, which I didn't apparently, we can get an extra life that I probably don't need anyway. I think I actually am down one after the fiasco with the cannons, but rather easy enough to replace in this game. Whoop, 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 crap. Oh darn it. That was dumb. Okay, I should not be having this much trouble with this. Apparently I am. But at least they have a pretty background to look at while I'm failing miserably. Okay, can we pound this thing? We can, but it doesn't actually do anything. Squid. Oh, I grabbed onto the thing when I didn't mean to. Well, do I actually have to bounce off the squid to get up there? I see the puzzle piece, but there's something down here too. Wow, two bonus rooms? You don't often see two of them in one level, and this is one of the actually a little bit more challenging ones. Not that it's anything we can't handle. Seriously, though, that is one of the things they need to change if Retro Studios makes a third Donkey Kong Country game, which I certainly hope they do. Make it for the NX. They need to do more with the bonus rooms. Like, literally all of the bonus rooms, except for that 1 and 2 1, all of the bonus rooms in this game and all of the ones in Tropical Freeze have the exact same goal, the exact same time limit, only one screen. I mean, they can be more creative than that. Well, on this thing, and we get goodies. No puzzle piece, it looks like. Okay, one. Two. And can't tell from there, so I'm just gonna have to hope it goes in order. Okay, that was easy enough. Oh, we even have the cannonballs again. Did you think we'd see those again? Wait, do they only shoot them once here? There's our N. Yeah, it looks like you only get one cannonball, one cannonball at a time, really. Okay, that barrel wasn't something I need to... Okay, one, two, one, two, three. See, there's a good example of what I mean, too. If you just try to go all three in order, then it sucks for you because you're going to land in the bottomless pit. Yeah, I was going to say, that platform certainly looks like Cannonball's gonna hit it. Yeah, I see that puzzle piece over there, but we're in the background. We can't really do much about it right now. Bananas. Okay, we want to go over here. And we want to apparently have our controller not work properly. Darn it. Well, let's just kind of try to hurry through this. I'm going to start using Tippy Shippy as an expression for when somebody's fictional romantic pairing seems silly. Your ship is Tippy. Actually, I'm probably not, but whatever. Okay, so let's see if we can do a little better this time, huh? Don't touch the floor. The floor is lava. And that 
takes us conveniently right to the goal platform. Well, that stage certainly took a while, and not entirely because I was being a derp. But at least we got all the Kong letters and all the puzzle pieces. Well, of course we got all the Kong letters, because if we didn't, I would have had to go back and get them. Because those things are important. And with that, we're on to the last regular level of World 6, 6, 8, Cliff Top Climb. Yes, this world actually has eight stages. Five and six are the only ones that do. Everything else is seven, six, or five. And hey, we have more tar. Okay, so this isn't but It makes dinosaur skulls pop up. Puzzle piece. Oh, and we have this music again been a while since we've heard that. Okay. More bonus rooms. And done. Earliest two puzzle pieces ever. Ever, but it's got to be up there. So, you can guess we're going to be climbing a cliff top. And indeed, this is a very vertically oriented level. And we have more collapsing platforms, because it just would not be a World 6 level without collapsing platforms. Especially later in the world. Wait, I didn't miss... Over here, did I? Oh, I'll just bet I did. And I can't go back for it. Well, that stinks. Because that thing over on the left really looked like it looked like it would have been a puzzle piece. I may just have to go back and get that. Oh, by the way, and speaking of pretty backgrounds, it's even prettier in this one. Look at that. It's so colorful and, and shiny and... Anyway. That was a little close, but... And another bonus room already. Would this have been our fourth puzzle piece if we had screwed up the one thing? I hope it's only the third. I really hope it's actually only the third. Because it's still fairly early in the level. so I guess it's not that early. Everything is falling apart under us. Just like my life. Okay, now that background reminds me a little of the Lion King. It's so pretty, look at that blue sky! I'd say overall though, this level goes by pretty quickly usually. Just have to be careful. And we have some barrel. But that was exactly the wrong place to shoot out of that. I don't think we're too far behind. And that is what you get for rushing things. I can make up that life I lost, but not if I don't time it correctly. Wait for it not to be directly under the rock. I think I need to check how many times you can jump on these crumbling rock platforms and how long you can stand on them before you have to get off. It looks like third jump will crumble it. Well, at least the barrels don't crumble. Ooh, almost missed that one. Four. I'll bet I know where the fifth one was. 
I'm tempted to go back and get it, but mm, maybe I should do that off camera. I mean, I don't normally go for all the puzzle pieces, but come on, it's when it's like right there when I already know where it is. Oh, and now we've unlocked the temple stage and the boss, of course. Okay, I'm doing it. Uh, see you guys shortly. Yep, sure enough, there it was. And I actually died a surprisingly high amount of times for how early in the level that was. That's the, the thing about 6-8, I guess, I think I already said something to that, that effect. It's not a difficult level, but it's not one that you can rush, really. Anyway, see you back at the overworld map. There, five. So I guess it's technically not the overworld, not just yet, but... In any case... So, that's all the regular levels done, so that means all we have left is... Oh no... Well, anyway guys, I will see you in the next episode.